guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Slim Cat ROM for Galaxy S3. Yes, this is the uh, next generation of Slim ROMs. The previous one was Slim Bean which meant that it was based on the Jelly Bean series. Now it is based on the Kit Kat series and this particular version is the 1.6 beta. So this is still in the beta version. It's not a stable one yet. But uh, as far as I know, this is pretty stable. It can be used as a daily driver if you want to. So it doesn't. It does have a few tweaks to look forward to. And uh, yes, well, let's get into the ROM now. So first thing, this is the Nova launcher. The Slim Bean Slim ROMs have always been using Nova launcher for a long time. Let me first uh, turn down the brightness. Okay. Now, Nova Launcher, all the slim ROMs have uh, uh, have been with the uh, Nova Launcher releases. So you do have Nova Launcher. You do need to flash G apps. The total ROM size is about 130 megs. So that makes it really slim ROM. This ROM is actually using more of an AOSP base than any other ROM. OmniROM was more of an AOSP ROM than CM, but OmniROM did have a few extra features also like active display and stuff like that. This one doesn't have anything else. This is pure AOSP experience. This is the minimal experience which you will like. Uh, this does have a considerable uh, performance increase than the other ones. Uh, something of a problem is that I can't get Antutu benchmark started up. Um, at 3D performance gauging it uh, crashes. So till uh, without the 3G performance included the score was 14700. I guess all the 4.4 ROMs does crash with 3G performance so I'm not sure how to get that done. So let's go to about phone. Here is the about phone settings. You can see this is 442. That is 4.4.2. Okay. The baseband version is uh, well, the latest 4.3 from Samsung. Slim version, Slim 4.4.2 beta, 1.6 weekly. So this is a weekly release. It will be available in the next week. The next version will be available in the next week. And uh, in a month's time, maybe we will get a stable version. So that's pretty cool. Now, extra features. What does this have extra? Let's see. In advanced settings, you can see the uh, first of all the DPI setting is 240, so that's why every icon, everything is smaller than you would expect. The normal DPI setting should have been 320, but this one uh, comes with 250s, 240. So <laughs> one thing to notice: first setting is interface setting. You can select battery icon, battery color, even the bolt charging color. That is uh, the bolt. Uh, inside the battery icon which comes when you are charging right you can even select uh, whatever color you want that's I found it hilarious that's a pretty cool feature to have and now we have notification and uh, quick setting drawer you can have quick setting layout uh, to your uh, understanding whatever you want you can even have four tiles in a row pretty cool uh, quick pull down uh, side left or right style in which you can select uh, tiles per row things like that scale landscape quality quantity so that kind of stuff background style again you can select the transparency uh, custom images anything that's pretty cool again now what else do we have now status bar setting you can select the clock uh, where the clock comes uh, center clock am pm indicator date date format etc etc you have all the settings too um, if you're comparing this with a CM ROM, this would be lacking in the features because it doesn't have a lot of features. It does have navigation features. You have a navigation bar. You can enable that. So that works pretty cool. You can select the buttons which you want to use. Global menu, uh, which are these. You can select what all appears here and where it appears. If you change the sound, you can see sounds on top. So pretty cool. You can uh, enable any app. In that that's pretty cool now what else nothing too uh, unfamiliar or special about this ROM this is a ROM which has no other features it just gives you the basics and a few extra like the QS uh, settings like you have you can select what all other QS quick settings you want so that's uh, one of the good things and this one does have a slight bit of an improvement in the 
uh, performance division I haven't actually flashed GApps so you can you may have to flash GApps before you can have this working these are all the apps with which it comes you have the basic apps you have camera that those things only uh, camera does work no problems in that um, SD location uh, camera saving to SD I don't think it works yet uh, but it will eventually I guess let's see setting yeah it will come eventually but as of now I don't think you have the ability to choose SD card as a camera saving location so um, something else which I wanted to talk about is the uh, slim center which was available in the previous slim ROMs also this is uh, this provide you can read that right you can uh, slim uh, slim center provides tools and information to help make your experience with slim rom even better okay these things you have a uh, slim OTA so it gives you the uh, current version you, it gives you what all newer versions are available and things like that so that's pretty cool uh, Slimizer, this is another something which I love about this. You can delete after flashing G apps. Um, I normally flash Banks G app, it does have the launcher that is Google Experience Launcher. So then we have two launchers, right? So if you want the slimmest possible ROM, you don't want to launch us in the system file. These uh, setting these apps, APK files. You can just select them and just delete them. But be careful, don't delete anything which is important. Uh, if you have any doubt, just search on the Google, search on Google, and what is it? For example, Slim File Manager. If I'm using uh, ES File Explorer, I don't want Slim File Manager. I can just delete it, and it's deleted. There's nothing uh, wrong with <laughs> deleting the slime, uh, file manager, right? Huh. I guess you have to restart. So yeah, I guess that much is it. Um, I'll, let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty awesome. So here is the slim cat <laughs> boot animation which is slightly tweaked I would say. The slim bean boot animation had the S a little bit more in, elongated and the text were a lot smaller. So yeah that's pretty cool. Now the startup time is phenomenal. This is really fast startup time I would say. Well that's expected because this doesn't have much of much of the clutter which is which jogs down everything so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess that much is it uh, about the ROM again this and uh, now it is kind of like all the other uh, custom extra firmwares are also using uh, KitKat as its base so gone are the days when CM and Omni ROM were the only 4.4 ROMs available now we had we do have a lot of choices like uh, BAM ROM, ProBAM uh, both of them also have gone to uh, see uh, the 4.4 KitKat so I'm going to make a video of that too, but in 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 good time. So yeah. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.